how how far am I into the actual show? Yeah. I am four episodes in. So, like, halfway. You, you know what's going on, more or less. Yeah, I know the... You know those Russian guys. Yeah, I know, the, like, the catalyst of the, the plot and, okay. and that sort of stuff. I understand now why you claim that we were never going to play as Billy. <laughs> that, yep, that is very, becomes very clear as you watch a couple episodes. Uh, literally the first episode. Okay, now we have to... What were we doing? I think we had just done some side quests. Check on Eleven at Hopper's cabin. Oh, yeah, let's go in and do that. Then. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I didn't join, that's why. Let okay. Finn gets that's why I didn't have. That. I can only hit start. Okay. Yeah, quest, check on Eleven. We can find Nancy. All of this is very early episode stuff. And All this errands. is things that I've, like, witnessed. Oh, did we want to do one errand or anything like that? Gearing up? I think we're already pretty strong. Let's, nah, let's, let's advance the plot and then... Yeah, we, we're like stuck in episode one, possibly two at this point, so it's probably time to do a little bit of, a little bit of plot advancement. Yep. Maybe play as new characters. I assume Eleven will join the team. Oh, hop. <laughs> I immediately went to shoot him. <laughs> You know what? He looks almost like the Russian guys in that. It kind of. Mike was such a dick to hop in the the show now. Yeah. He's like whispering in Eleven's ear right in front of his face and everything. What a dick. Well, kids are kind of dicks. Is Eleven around? Yeah, I guess you can just blame the kid. He looks cool as shit there. Yeah, his portrait's dope. His mustache and hair is like very tidy rather than the kind of like besheveled it normally is. Disheveled? Besheveled? Disheveled. Yeah, as soon as I said besheveled. Besheveled sounds like a French sauce. <laughs> Buschetti. <laughs> Where else would she be, Mike? Can I see her? We have a date. You have to go around the back and remember to keep the door open and keep the lights on. What's keep with that the door fans? open uh, three inches. Right, three inch roll, three inch roll. It's for security. Something or someone is snooping around here at night. Good luck with that. <laughs> Are you trying to keep me away from 11? Is that what... I guess that was a follow-up to the fence thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, these crazy rats. I also found a rag. Nice. We need those rags for something. Nice multi-purpose rag. How There's far... There's gotta be a gnome in there. Nope. <laughs> How far back oh, into this bush me? is the cabin? It's like behind a bunch of rock walls and things. I'm trying to keep you from 11, he dude. He really is. He went to great lengths to ensure that this doesn't continue, it would seem. It's a bit much, dude. Oh, get the hacks going. Why, why, why? <laughs> I easy. got all the stuff. You did nothing. I got one of them. Okay. <laughs> I think. I'm yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> Dustin is, uh, he was always always kind of my favorite. He is especially my favorite in this. Mostly because four episodes in, he's the only one who hasn't uh, been a dick to anyone yet. Yeah. <laughs> like, he'll be, like, sassy. But he's not abandoning his friends and, like, not listening to people. Yeah, he's, he, he'll bust Steve's balls or whatever, but, like... Oh, Friends man. bust each other's balls. Yeah, when when Lucas and Mike were like uh, teasing Will about trying to run his new D and D campaign, yeah. that like made me so sad. <laughs> it was pretty rude. Yeah, they were jerks. Which, Just, again, kids Justin's are jerks, abused. but damn Americans. <laughs> <laughs> In perfect English. Huh, hmm. it looks like some kind of combination. Great, but why are there a bunch of Russian dudes out in the woods? Good question. That's also, I think the show did a decent job of um, keeping the split storyline fairly interesting because, um, like, you oh. see you see a bunch of stuff revealed and then you have to watch the other characters realize it. But they did a decent job of not making it super, like, monotonous right. to watch them rediscover it. Like, Nancy and Jonathan are kind of doing their own thing, oh, Steve and Dustin, and then, like, and then, like, the three... Uh... The other, they're like the rest of the kids. It is yeah. pretty. It is pretty split. Yeah, and like like I said, they're all learning different stuff at different times. Mm -hmm. Like the Nancy and them, they don't know anything about the Russians. They just know about the monster. Oh, that's true. And then like uh, Steve and Dustin and and Robin like only know about the Russians. Yeah. And um, I'll, Hopper I'll go and this way. Hopper and uh, oh, there's guys here. What the hell? Why Joyce? I'll come help. Now nah, you gotta nah, cover I'm it. tightening them. Yeah, I'm going back. I gotta, I gotta go Guys, kiss. I want gnome search. I gotta go kiss L on the lips. Nice. Yeah, I need to do that. <laughs> nice. Nice. Ooh, I also found uh, Make sure you follow the three inch rule if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, I need to. No one's got Dustin, right? Okay. Oh, I, I just had him oh, for I a second, but I ended up not needing it as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> I guess we probably could have done this before Dustin, right? Uh, oh, probably, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. I, I stepped on this and it opened up this and Hopper yelled at me about fucking up his fence or something, but it was too late. I had already, I accidentally already skipped, up his I skipped the dialogue. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, and I'm not going to repair his fence or anything, so that's fine. Wait, okay, I was going to say we should lose stuff first. Oh, I'm here for our date. Mike, I missed you. Yeah, but Hopper didn't see thr seem thrilled. Hopper is mad. Oh, that's kind of another funny thing that I noticed in this season, too, is, like, the first scene or two that Eleven is in, mm -hmm. she has, like, a very normal conversation, and then the second someone, like, uses a word she doesn't know, she goes back to season one Eleven of, like, what is that word? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I thought maybe she had outgrown it, but it, it comes up now and again still. Don't worry, I can handle him. Sure, you're a tough guy. Oh, I was, I was about to start bashing things. What should we things. watch? The Silver Cows, Golden Girls, uh, A-Team, and Different Folks? Was there Different Strokes? Was that the name of the show? I think so. But Something I, about strokes. Let's watch the B-Team. Okay, I put it on. That was the end of that. <laughs> oh, also, like, episode one, you were saying that uh, someone tightly squeezing through grates and, like, oh, the you horse. You were claiming all these different things that were, like, important plot details, and I didn't believe you. I see now. <laughs> Yeah, the horse. <laughs> the horse. The horse. <laughs> it was an important plot detail. Okay, we'll do another fist spike. I guess we might as well. Hey, and then save up for um, yeah. a few well, things. We need the file and we need uh, toilet gauze paper and a, and a helmet. helmet. Oh, gauze. Ga oh, yeah. It tells you. Toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> um, Poor man's gauze. I forget that I forgot that you can apply that to both characters. So you yeah. might as well just load everything up. Might as well do what we have. I was gonna raid the Ooh, fridge. Ooh, a tasty snack. What does she want? Ooh, celery. That feels like very um, modern. I think she wants. <laughs> she needs calories and sugar. Does she? So, is that how she recovers? Well, that's why from she eats her... egos. Oh, that was that. There was actually like a plot reason for that. Sure, ice cream. Wait, can I just take everything? No. Oh, it was just the one time. Okay, yeah, I'll go raid the bedroom. Is there is there any reason to use the radio? It's just static. I got medical tape. Oh, probably L can use the radios later on. Um, I was gonna say. Mm, not Mike, but Lucas. Maybe no, not it's not Lucas because I'm Lucas. Will, maybe, <laughs> maybe Will. Oh, you're wondering which character would use? Yeah, do, would you like to offer her a tasty snack? Oh, oh, I got some. Our, our, our quest is offer a compliment and give her a tasty snack. Oh, weird. <laughs> we got that order. Got to earn that kiss. Ice cream, want some? I like ice cream. <laughs> Can I have some now? Lieutenant Dan, ice cream. <laughs> uh, there you go. Good, good promise. I should give Ella a compliment. Your clothes are stylish. Your makeup looks her clothes mature. are stylish. Your hair looks much better. <laughs> you just say the hair looks nice. You don't yeah. have to say the hair looks better. What don't... you do is you go. Uh, did you just get a haircut? Right. Because either they did and you're attentive, or they didn't and you're just like, well, it looks great. It's good hair day. It looks great. Yeah. You don't need to contextualize your compliment by saying you do not it was set better the bar than... and then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank that's, you. A, that's a backhanded compliment. Right. <laughs> and you suck at this. I thought I did a great job. Time to watch. You turn the lights off to like watch people. My... Oh yeah, okay. Uh, that compliment didn't count. Oh, choose a good TV show was one of the quests as well. In yeah. the lights. Mike, your mother called us about your grandma. <laughs> Nana, <laughs> better go talk to him. Just keep looking at our clothes. <laughs> yeah, that's really weird. Uh, Hopper's television. L, is there anything else you want to talk about? Nah, she's good. She's having a well, fun let's, time. Yeah, well, let's go talk to Hopper. I don't know who she's going to go watch, who she's spying on. Talk about uh, this thing with this Elle. speech. <laughs> I think we're getting the speech. I love the next day when he goes and talks to Joyce, and he's like, like, oh, yeah, everything. I nailed it. Everything we covered, and I even improvised a little. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so Nana's fine? You lying piece of... If you ever want to see Elle again, you will shut your mouth. Really, though, Mike was being trash. Also, Mike also could have just told Elle that, like, Hopper told me to stay away. Maybe we should chill out for a while. I mean, he did, like, but, four episodes later. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. It's too late then. You can't keep doing this shit and then be like, I guess it's by his the way, first it's girlfriend. -y. Yeah, but it's not his first human he's interacting with. <laughs> that's true. It is still largely Mike's fault. Mike's a tool. Now I'm going to drive you home and we're going to talk. And Lucas is going to be there. It's okay. We can quick travel back. <laughs> <laughs> right. No need. Huh? Yeah. He's going to yell at Lucas just because he happens to be there. 
Hopper can be scary when he wants to be. I can't believe this. Hey, microphone's ringing. Maybe we should answer it. Will. I got it. Will just keeps just hanging out in this basement, hey? Alone. At least he's not hanging out Wait, trapped are, somewhere. Are we in Mike's basement? Yeah. Does Will just live down here oh, sometimes? Sure. <laughs> what happened to our date? Sorry, I had to cancel. Want to come over? I feel like I'm expecting that most people have seen the show and so I'm kind of I mean I don't know when to... you're gonna edit this and release it but I feel at this point if they care they've probably seen it there was a thing that was like within the first few days like within 48 hours of the show coming out it was like 60% of our users have watched it and of those 60% of them have already yeah, finished it or whatever numbers. like it was insane I need to be alone my nan is sick I have a bad rash I have to feed my cold fish Mike, do you... See, that's another one of those things where she's like... The, it's a callback to the whole friends don't lie yeah. thing, but it's like she knows the word lie. Do you lie? lie? <laughs> You're in deep, man, but you can fix it. Max has dumped me five another times. Another healthy relationship. That relationship is insane. I think Max is a way cooler character than Lucas. <laughs> yeah, she's way absolutely. She's way too good for him. You be a man and you go but out I mean, there, you get her something shiny that says I'm sorry. Like... Of the teenage boys, Lucas is probably one of the best. Yeah, that's fair. Like, he's one of the most self-aware. Will is starting to step up a little bit, but he's still kind of like... But, like, if you wouldn't... I don't think you really want to date Will, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but Dustin, kissing's better without teeth, apparently. That was a really weird line in the... <laughs> it's from the show! Sure. I'm oh, what was that? What was that? Nails. Okay. I'm still not convinced we'll ever meet that girlfriend. I'm not saying that she's not real. I just feel like it might not <laughs> ever happen. <laughs> I called it, though, in episode one of this game when I hadn't seen the show. Steve and Robin, that's gonna be a thing. Uh, man, it, I... still, it still hasn't happened, so I have nothing to go off of. You're, but... still, you're, you're doubling down, though. Oh, tripling down. Okay. It feels like a, a guarantee. Where were we going? We're going to right. the mall to buy something for Elle. How, are you up to this point in the show? Yeah. Where they're, like, doing the shopping sprees and they run into each other? And the guy, all the teenage boys stare into, like, the lingerie store awkwardly. Yeah, that was <laughs> that really was funny. funny. <laughs> Did you ever have to buy something for a family member? Um, lingerie? Not lingerie, but, like, in, like, a very, like, women's only clothing store. Um, I never had, like, a sister. Okay. So, I, I, it was... And I feel like if I ever got invited to a girl's birthday party, that was when we were so young that you would go get them some, like, dollar store trinket or something. Sure. It was never, like, yeah, so not I, really. I've had to do some, uh, some, like, gift cards and stuff for my mm. sister. Well, I haven't had to. I chose to do that because <laughs> I couldn't think of a better gift. But to some stores that I was just like, I'm very uncomfortable in this store. Yeah, I hate that feeling very much so. Even, like, uh, even it's, like, also some modern stores have much more... You know, it's not like guy section, girl section. It's like, here's our clothes. Right. And I'll be looking at something, I'm like, is this, like, girls' clothes? Like, I mean, if it looks good, it looks good. But that makes a difference for the sizing. You know? Right. Yeah. I And, like, for guys, it's, like, small, medium, large, extra large. I, you're good. That's I, all you need. Yeah. Yep. And I feel like... Pants 32, 32. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what everyone literally is. Uh, this, we're looking for a charm bracelet or a scrunchie or something. Medical tape, we have a that plush already. doll, a charm bracelet, or a scrunchie. Do we just let's, buy it all let's up? buy the scrunchie for sure. Scrunchie, definitely. Charm sure. bracelet, so fashionable. And, and sure. oh, so fluffy. And you said we have we this? We have medical tape. Fancy for fancy doctors. You know what? Let's splurge. <laughs> I don't know why they're selling medical tape. Splash but. out. Bring your gift back to 11. Ooh, all of them. We're going to shower oh, her in gifts. Yeah. That was their fault for leaving it out in the open like that. They were begging for <laughs> we were it. We just terrible people. <laughs> I heard a goofy thing, like, I don't know, a meme or something that was talking about gift cards recently that was basically saying uh, for a woman, a gift card is like an excuse to shop. It's like a fun thing, like an opportunity. And for a guy, it's like... Uh, logistical nightmare of like I don't know when I'm gonna spend this I don't even need to go to Best Buy right now I guess I have to make an excuse to like think of a reason to spend this and like I don't know I, I stress out when I get gift cards <laughs> does that translate does that do, I know do you a little bit usually that? um usually when I get gift cards it's because my parents will be like what do you need for Christmas mm. and I'll be like mm. well I could use you know 
some new like hockey stuff or some shorts or something to like a sport check gift card. Rather than sending you a direct link of like buy me these gloves. You just get, you just get a sports I mean, check I kind of, to be honest, I kind of do that with my grandma because it's like, um, you know, like I want this game and then like she'll also get, you know, some shirts or socks or right, something. Right, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's very specifically this game for this system. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not, I'm not like above doing that. That's probably pretty helpful, but I feel like my mom has some sort of pride of like having Ooh. thought of something and picked it out herself, even though I... Yeah. I appreciate that, but I don't care. I can just tell you the exact thing if that's easier for you. Yeah, well, my family usually be... Everyone in my family is very difficult to buy for. I... Um, so we'll usually do, like, you know, toss out a few specific gifts, and then if anyone sees something that's good, they can also get that. And then we'll usually do, like, you know, some cooking and baking and stuff mm. like that. Brett told me once that she's very easy to buy for because she likes soft things, things that smell good, things that look pretty, <laughs> and she just gave like a bunch of very vague, broad things like that. But then the exact situation is that you go to like a like a women's store yeah. of trinkets and things, and I'm like, everything smells. <laughs> Lots of these things look pretty. Some like, of them are soft. That's like not. That's it seems yeah. like that's endless space to work with it. But I. It, well. I think I'm a bad gift shopper. <laughs> I was I had a real problem because my mom was super into yoga, golf, and gardening, and she hurt her back. Oh. So it's like there is like none of her hobbies I can get gifts for because That sucks. It's just like it's unfortunate. So she's doing better now, so I can keep getting her That's things in that vein. But <laughs> for a while it's like, this is like all of her hobbies and interests are on hold right now. Like, right. oh man, that's really rough. Yeah, I'm glad she's oh, better. Shit. I, I dump, dump your ass. ass. Oh. Are, you, are you up to that in the show? Yeah. And then the cold as ice starts playing immediately. <laughs> yeah. Woo! <laughs> I was like, it's rough. Kind of, I've been slowly progressing the dialogue because I don't know. People can either mm -hmm. read it at their le leisure or they've seen it in the show or whatever. But sure. I paused on that. I one. mean, you're <laughs> also not doing the voice stuff either. So. Not really. All the characters are the same. <laughs> I paused on that one because the dump your ass was a super funny moment. Yeah. Also seemed like a bit of an overreaction and I thought she was going to backpedal and be like, oh, I didn't realize that that meant we don't see each other anymore, which she might down the line, but she seemed pretty okay with it. And really, it seemed like probably a wise decision. Max kind of had a point, like entirely everything she knows about the world comes from Hop and Mike. Probably should expand her horizons uh a little bit. Oh, uh, were we not supposed to go in here? I don't know. I was busy no, smashing things. Store. Okay, well, let's go back in. The arrow was directly <laughs> through the door, you know? <laughs> right. Oh, excuse me. I can I can continue on with my mission of smashing things. I wish it told you who collected what. Even though it's the same, it's the communal <laughs> thing. I wish it was like, yeah, you got those coins. Like a little big planet or something? You're like working together, but you want to yeah. have more. Um did, have these characters crossed paths this early in the... Like, I don't even know if they've been in the same room together four episodes in. I don't know if they have. Hmm. I, I wanted to talk to Carla okay. first to see what oh, she was Oh, I saw a doing. drawing of... Uh, someone did some fan art of... Um, oh, what's the guy's name? The photographer? Jonathan? Jonathan. Doing, like, stuff in the darkroom. And Nancy, like, karate kick flying through the door with, like, light streaming in. Right. Close the door! Close the door! I'm amazed she doesn't run in with an additional light source in hand. Like a super bright, like, spotlight. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, Jonathan? <laughs> he gets upset about it every time. Well, I mean, it is, like... The whole point is to not ruin the photos. Yeah, learn also, to what kind knock. of Did they never have a dark room? Like, what kind of dark room just has a door like that? Everyone I've been in has had multiple doors or, like, a spinning door. Oh, you've been in dark rooms? Yeah, my school had a dark room. That's cool. And both of your solutions that you just suggested make a ton of sense. Yeah, it's not like a spinny door is that much more... Because, like, like, the door still has to open, so, like... Yeah, yeah. It's, like, only 50% more door. That's... Huh. No, never been in a dark room before. Okay. It's interesting that you have been. What are you doing here? Uh, Will said you needed something. Thanks, the blackout reset the alarm last night. I've been running late all day. Tom needs you in the conference room. I'm so behind on my work, I could use your help. She her, joins her work party. is to get coffee. Like, no, <laughs> no insult to her character or the situation, but, like, that's what she does. <laughs> it seemed like... Uh, oh, did, I want to check what her stats are. Oh, Scissor good. Slash can do critical hits. And execute big damage to single enemy. Jesus. A single enemy. So if they're in a relationship, it won't work. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'll, I'll give Nancy a try for a sure. little bit. I'll slice people up with I'll some be, scissors. I'll be Mike. 
And the impression I got from the show was that her job, when she like applied for it, was not just to go get people coffee, and they like reduced her to that. I I don't I got the impression that like they kind of hired both of them because they needed people to no no no. Get it? Nom, 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 nom. Magnum. <laughs> it's probably a Magnum P.I. reference. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, Tom Selleck. But, uh, like, I don't know if that was kind of she got a job there and then she realized that's what they wanted her to do. It's... Or if they hired her and then, like, changed what she was doing. Yeah, I. it, it is unclear. She's just an intern, so I guess when you got hired, there might not she be thought, much but, of a like, job maybe description. Maybe she thought she was going to do stuff and then and yeah. they were like, yeah, you're going to be our coffee bitch. Yeah, which super sucks. And also, I don't understand how you fill in an eight-hour day with that. But why? Why? Like, they seem to get this, a lot of enjoyment. Is she out getting of it. paid for this, or is this like the U.S. American intern system where you get paid <laughs> nothing and you I, like it? If they weren't getting paid, then like Jonathan would be a lot less upset about like the importance of that job. It's experience. Right? <laughs> but actually, like, if you want to be a photographer, if you're not working for the only local paper, what are you doing? Weddings listings of selling okay. homes in this town you're probably going to do a lot more like funerals than weddings right but... right <laughs> who, who hires a funeral photographer i don't know yeah everyone looked real sad bust out the, bust well, out the there funeral. hasn't been a single me <laughs> there hasn't been a single wedding but there's been a lot of deaths that's all i'm saying <laughs> right. don't don't want to bust out the funeral album and re oh they nailed that guy's look he looks more like his character than anyone else yeah his hair looks like straw Bruce, I didn't even know that was his name. He's such an asshole. He's pretty funny though. He is, he's like, he's like, he's, he's not. They wrote funny. him well to be like. You can see it, how he's being the office funny guy, even though he's a complete asshole. Yeah, yeah. His jokes are not funny. He is an asshole. He's the the way the actor is playing it is very funny. I, I I totally like buy into it. Yeah, he does it well. I hear there's a beauty pageant at the fair. I wouldn't mind covering Lucy LeBrock, fellas. I need something real. But Starcourt, it's killing business in Town Square. Why did the mayor approve it? That's a mystery, but I have another mystery for you, Nancy Drew. Where's our coffee? Classic. Classic. Funny every time, right? Good one, Tom. The next time we can we can have like a nice uh, coffee fetching clickbait. That's the sort of the sort of stuff people are subscribed for. That's what they're tuning in for, Brendan. This is what the audience wants. I'm gonna give them what they want. Coffee fetch quests. <laughs> Perfect place to leave it.